So on the last video, we were talking about that Cody Rhodes entrance that WWE 2K23 dropped, and it looks spectacular. And guys, I know you're going to ask yourself, why is Lex showing me 2K22 gameplay? This video is about the 2K23 trailer that just dropped. Link for that trailer is in the comment section. And I'm sorry to disappoint you, but they don't want me talking about the game. I got hit with some copyright strikes, and I'm going to mention that in just about every video. I don't want people to accuse me of, of uh, trying to clickbait or any of that nonsense. I'm here to put my thoughts out there. I'm here to create this conversation and discussion on the channel to build up the community and the excitement for the game, which I can't wait for. If you guys want to pre-order, it's up for pre-order on Xbox and PlayStation. We've covered that as well. But the trailer, Lex, what do you think about the trailer? Man, oh man, I'm going to play it here. You can't see it, but I'm going to play it while I'm talking to you guys about it right now. And I love it. A couple things I do want to complain about before I get into the things I love. I wish they would have changed John Cena's Titatron. As much as I like the highlighter green, you know, the John Deere style Titatron, he already has a new one. So it's outdated despite him wearing the, the new in-ring gear. I feel like adding a video package would have been an easy add-on and they just, they didn't do it. So we're not getting that, unfortunately. Just one of the first things I realized, but I don't want to be a Debbie Downer because let me tell you, John Cena looks spectacular with his new shirt. Roman Reigns with the little... You know, the the red chain, you know, Hawaiian thing, Samoan thing that I know. I don't want to disrespect, but I don't know what it's called right now. Point is, they also showed Bad Bunny and Bad Bunny. Oh, my goodness. for Especially for being a celebrity and, and a pre-order bonus that people don't even care for like that. I know the WWE community is crazy. They don't have no love for Bad Bunny when this guy has left it out on in the ring. I appreciate what he's done for the business, especially coming from the, the music industry and actually putting his body on the line. I, I He has my respects. And I wanted to see what he was looking like in, in the game. And they got him, man. They got the Royal Rumble gear, the 2032, which was him promoting his album and stuff like that. So I thought that was really nice. And then they transitioned into the Usos walking out with Roman Reigns. They got the new haircuts. And I love the We The One shirts. So shout out to 2K for doing that. And 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 they got Paul Heyman coming out with them. No Sola Sokoa in sight, unfortunately. But they do got Roman Reigns doing the gesture after the spear, trying to flick his hair up, which I thought that was a nice touch. Roman Reigns does look better than last year. He really does. But the hair looks a lot like the one from from 2K22. Is it is it just me or the hair looks a lot this, uh, like very similar or the same? But either way. He looks spectacular. And then they show Cody Rhodes again, which we saw his intro. Cody Rhodes, man, one of the greatest freaking in-game models we've ever seen, honestly. They they aced. They nailed it. Cody Rhodes is 10 out of 10. Now, then we transition to Seth Rollins. And I'm a little bothered that Seth Rollins has the, the black old jacket. Um, I thought he would have had a more updated uh, in-ring gear. But, you know... It is what it is. They do have one of his more famous trunks there, which I enjoy the, the the ones with the little colors and stuff. So I thought that was a nice touch. And then we got Roxanne here from NXT, which I know a lot of people are going to get happy for. And then Rhea Ripley makes her appearance as the Judgment Day with her little, you know, when she's like leaning into the uh, outside of the ring. And then Logan Paul with the actual hype up. I, I'm digging it, man. I just... I thought we were going to get a little more than just a minute of, uh, of gameplay here, but it's so fast paced. It's, it's a lot all at once. So I've been watching that one minute trailer over and over and over, like endlessly. Honestly, I'm, I'm in love. I'm in love with 2K23. War games look spectacular. They got uh, Sami Zayn updated as well. The honorary Oos is looking proper. Kevin Owens with his red shirt too. Even though that's not the one he's been wearing lately, it's okay. Um, Macho Man, I know a lot of people are going to be bothered because a lot of we were talking about it on stream recently. A lot of people were mentioning how they want Macho Man to get a brand new update. And unfortunately, he's still rocking the same stuff. So nothing crazy on that end. But then we got Hulk Hogan with the Hulk rules uh, attire, which that one is more of like the golden era, the very early 90s version of the Hulkster. He's making a, a, a big return into WWE 2K games. And then Stone Cold. Stone Cold looks amazing. He's giving Bret Hart the stunner, who Bret Hart looked great too. One of the biggest things that I noticed here when Undertaker was choke slamming HBK off of that Hell in a Cell is that the lighting is just 
out of this world. It looks kind of like an instant replay clip where they got some nice angles and animations to, to really make that moment pop in the trailer. It's one of those oh my god moments. And then it transitions into showcasing Bad Bunny doing his finisher to The Miz, which, again, they're just hitting it out the park, guys. It, there's very little things I could complain about here. I know a lot of people that are going to nitpick and they're going to point out all these imperfections and point out how the attires are off. My only thing was the Titatron for John Cena, but beyond that and Seth Rollins' jacket, I think this trailer is a straight win. It's a 10 out of 10 I, I don't see any L's here, honestly, despite uh, the little outdated stuff, which is something that they always, uh, f uh, you know, they always go. That, that's something that they're always up against. You know, WWE is this machine that's constantly changing and it's really hard to capture out in the games when they're not updated, it, uh, updating it on the spot. But that Cody cutter looks beautiful. That Cody cutter looks beautiful. And then we see Charlotte do her her move to Alexa Bliss. So that was cool. Bianca Belair, hit me up in the comment section with how you feel about Bianca Belair. I don't know how to feel because I see Rhea Ripley doing her finisher to her and she's kind of like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about her just yet. I got to see more. But then we got Bad Bunny jumping outside to the to the Miz and we see the Miz's uh, ring gear that says awesome and champion and all that stuff. I, I really like that one. That's the one with all the tags. So if you do pre-order the game, you get Bad Bunny. If you get the Deluxe Edition or the Icon version, Bad Bunny is part of that edition as well. Um, again, it's going to be really hard to top 2K23. With all the game modes they've improved, the graphics looking as beautiful as they are, I'm just head over heels right now. I don't know. I, I know I'm, I'm sounding a bit like a hype beast. I'm not really criticizing too much, but... I feel like there's just not much to complain about. I'm still waiting to see more, but from what I'm reading, the, the more detailed game modes, War Games is making its triumphant debut. I mean, what what else can we ask for? Let's, let's see. I want more details, and we're getting more tomorrow being Thursday, February 2nd. The embargo just lifted for the content creators that went to the event. So we're definitely going to get more information on the game soon. And I'm just waiting for them to, it's almost too good to be true, right? I'm, I'm waiting for them to like mess up, but they just haven't. They're killing it. They're killing it. So 10 out of 10 for this teaser. I know a lot of people are going to still feel like they there's there's a lot more to see. And, and, and there is, there is. March is just around the corner, but it feels like it's just not here yet, man. It's not. It's still over a month away. I can't wait to continue talking about it. We're going to discuss this trailer again in another uh, video. I just wanted to get this out as fast as I could to you guys and, and and essentially give you guys my two cents on WWE 2K23, the very first gameplay trailer that just dropped. So I'll see you on the next one. Thank you for tuning in. Peace.